Okay, I'm going to put this foot back down on the ground here, right? Pull this down. So there's the leg, and it's not great. The graphics are not great, and you can see that they don't really match up exactly perfectly unless the knee is bent forward a little bit, and it's not, so... Um, but regardless, it's functioning as a leg right now, right? So what I could do is, is I can pick the joint that I want to control, like let's say this one right here, and when I select on the bone itself, I get this joint rotation and joint X translation, joint Y translation, and spring, right? So I can constrain the joint rotation, right? And I can say, let's see here, select it, and you can say maximum. All right, so now let's say I just want it to be able to go that far. And let's see if that works now. So now you can see that it can bend like this, but it cannot bend backwards, breaking the knee, so to speak. Right? So, and I did that by looking at this angle and setting that right here. Now I'm going to grab that anchor point that I used to anchor the foot, and then I could set certain rotations for this foot too. So let's try to do the foot also. So if I select that, and say constrain the rotation, right? That looks pretty good. I could lower that down a little bit and maybe move that one a little bit. Notice how when I drag, click and drag on these maximum and minimum values, how the angle here is moving, right? So now it can only go so far. Right there you can see as I drag up, look at this little square piece. This little square piece shows exactly where the maximum is. And that's pretty useful. So now I could put the leg up just like that in a walking motion very easily. We could put the leg down here and could go five ahead and then click and drag it. Maybe push that a little bit, and then five ahead, and click, and drag it some more. Maybe bend the foot over a little bit, and then put it up some more, and maybe even put that up there, right? Pull that out. So now the motion is pretty nice really easy to, it would be a lot easier to control a walking cycle if you wanted to make the character do a walking motion if you had um, the ability to do that, right? To be able to move the um, leg in the motion that you wanted to and then just really do that very quickly. All right.